we are going to have, I believe, uh, Core Jam and Dark Zero. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of those two right about now. If you guys are enjoying what you're seeing today, be sure to support all these like glorious different people that are being shown up on the ad reel right now. <laughs> From myself to the Ohio FGC website, doc, or Ohio, Ohio to like the Discord, both Outer Haven and my own. Show some love to all the people. I'm gonna go ahead and invite these two again. All right, so these, so these two, very naturally, like if you're gonna be competing in in the Northeast Ohio FGC, you're already familiar with with Core Jam to varying different extents for varying different reasons. So these two have most certainly played before. Dark Zero recently started getting back into competing in our online events. Core Jam been involved with these since we've been doing them back in March. Uh, it's been 15 weeks, but <laughs> let's see if uh, Mr. Dark Zero knows something that we don't. Like I I'd be interested to see how this turns out. I I'd imagine that the Patient Vega is not a fun matchup for Laura. Fight. So as long, as long as Vega has that claw, I'd imagine it's not going to be a fun time. We're right proving that it's not an issue. Let me get that quick command gra grab right at the start. Poor Dan with offensive sequence going. Got Dark Zero in the corner. Stun racking up very high. Vega's lost the claw. Off to go for the slide for the knockdown. This is a very severe life deficit. I could fill Core Jam's life bar with the amount of health that Dark Zero has left. And then the counter conversion to elbow. Core Jam taking round number one. Round two. Yep. Core Jam got Dark Zero on the defensive, but was able to chase him down even after he did the V Skill 2 flip. Very nice punish on the elbow by Mr. Dark Zero. Again, I'm not really so sure how much of a fan I am of Dark Zero going to try and open him up with, with a number of cross ups. Core Jam's been very consistent with dealing with Dark Zero's cross ups today. Dark Zero getting out of there by using the V Trigger 2, goes right back in, gets a forward throw. Core Jam attempting to go for another reset. Dark Zero ready with the checks. Goes for Rossier, and that's uh hmm. Have it hmm. Laura wins. Hmm, okay. So game one goes to Core Jam. I'm not personally a fan of that option from Dark Zero to try and turn things around. Core, Core Jam's blocks have been very consistent to a lot of Dark Zero's options. So especially, so especially in regards to Vegas CA, I think that was a very poor decision. Oh, hopefully you can make up for Core Jam. Got the life loop right now. So Dark Zero going back on the offensive, starting to establish some semblance of a throw game. Gets checked by Core Jam, another anti by Core Jam. A activation station gets hit by the V skill too. This could kill. Oh, he drops the conversion. Gets hit by the overhead. Into Sunset Wheel. What's he gonna do on Oki? Oh, he tried to neutral jump. and gets clipped by the elbow. Round two. Dark Zero attempting to go on the prowl. This is this is set point for Core Jam. Oh, what's the command throw right in this dude's face? Fortunately, Dark Zero too far away to get an actual 
Converts outside of uh, far stand, medium punch. Goes for the forward throw to punch, EX elbow. Nice air to air. It's in the low. Ooh. Okay. It's pressing on a dive. Nice attempt at an air to air on the side of Coordinator. Just unfortunately whipped. Gets a sunset wheel. Set the Froki. And there we go. Coordinator continuing to prove that he has answers for a lot, if not all, of Dark Zero's options. Dark Zero going for a forward throw. Gets a sky high claw. Cancels it into EX ball dive command throw. And clutches out the round. Final There's life in this man yet. <laughs> Not a fan of that sand roundhouse. <laughs> okay, Dark Zero gets a whip punish on the command throw. Mantis is sending Core Dave into the corner. Mantis is snuff out the, the EX Thunderclap. Nice. Yeah, Dark Zero with a very commanding run. Almost gets the stun, but Core Dave busts out with the EX elbow. Gets the activation off Stay Mean Kick. Jabs him out of the overhead. Very nice on the side of Dark Zero. Oh, did he? The Barcelona dive got clipped by EX Thunderclap? Oh, and he just... Okay. <laughs> went, went in doubt. Sky High Claw. It's the Vega Strat of 2020. Vega wins. It's Dark Zero Omega taking one game against Mr. Kurjian. That was a very nice turn from Dark Zero. Round one. Nice Point. little offensive tear. Start throwing in a little more sky high. Nice. Nice air to air. Yeah, so Dark Zero doing whatever he, he can to try and get a command over the neutral game. Cordam continuing to maintain his his throw and pressure game. Kind of got him on lock. Ooh, very nice use of the V skill flip to avoid Laura's overhead. Dark Zero is starting to get a sense of when to check a bunch of Laura's options. Slowly starting to realize what's fake and what's not. Get, it's clipped by the throw. Isn't able to be skill flip out of that one. Sky High Claw through the. It, wait, is that actually projectile vulnerable? What? Okay. Core Jam with, with the punish on the sweep. Now it's set point once again against Mr. Dark Zero. We've seen him turn around before. Let's see him do it again. Ooh, and the raw sweep again. And again, V school 2 to get out of danger. And the air to air to respond to the Barcelona dive. The stun's being racked up. Core Jam looking to set up another perfect. Are we going to see it? And yes, we are. So Core Jam finishing it off with a perfect two rounds straight. Taking it over Dark Zero. 2-1. Very nice showing from Mr. Jam. He and Hitman are now in Grand... Or not Grand Finals. Winner's Finals. Exactly as I predicted. Such as the fates have foretold.